Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be looking at horror mystery anime called High Rise Invasion. The story begins with Yuri Hanjo, who finds herself on the rooftop of a building in a world she doesn't recognize. This world is filled with tall buildings connected with each other through suspension bridges. Panicking, she calls her brother Rika, who explains to her that this is a world where masked figures are running rampant, driving people to commit suicide by jumping off rooftops. Yuri at first thinks that it might be just a dream until she sees a girl jumping off in front of her. Rika tries to locate Yuri on the phone with the help of a tall building in the center of the city. Yuri witnesses this first and when a masked figure attacks her, the mask breaks Yuri's phone leaving her empty-handed. As she jumps to an adjacent rooftop, a police officer appears and shoots the masked figure. These police officers were also teleported into this freaking world. Another officer named Mizushita arrives on the scene and seems to be assessing the situation, but then he unexpectedly pushes the first officer off the rooftop. Mizushita then tries to sexually assault Yuri by ripping off her clothes. He was enjoying the moment of his life but a masked man with a sniper appears and shoots Mizushita just in time. Yuri takes Mizushita's gun and burns his body into flames. As Yuri tries to make sense of the chaos around her, she is confronted by a new masked figure named Maid Mask. Yuri shoots at the figure using great tactics and discovers that the masks are actually humans who have been ordered by a mysterious god command to carry out tasks in this world. The command orders Maid Mask to commit suicide, leaving Yuri shaken and determined to defeat the god command no matter what. Yuri makes her way to another building and spots a helicopter. In a dead body's pocket she finds a note that the helicopter can transport one person at a time out of the world at certain time interval. As she heads towards the helicopter, she encounters a girl who is threatening a man, but surprisingly, the girl is not wearing a mask. The girl is Mayuko Nice who's trying to get rid of everyone by killing them and getting into the helicopter that can get them out of this world. Mayuko kills the man and then threatens to kill her as well. Yuri shoots at her gun. Mayuko gets impressed by her aim but turns out she is good with knives too. However, they make a truce and team up to make their way to the helicopter. Along the way, they are chased by Sniper Mask. Suddenly, a grenade is thrown at them as a distraction but they manage to escape it. Mayuko and Yuri finally reach the helipad. Unfortunately, the helicopter departs before them, leading Yuri to shoot at it. She then decides to create alliances and hijack the helicopter to get out of this freaking world. Along the way, they talk about their pasts and get to know each other better. Meanwhile, Sniper Mask tries to regain his memories and Yuri remembers seeing an extremely tall skyscraper for a short period of time before being teleported to the new world. Yuri makes her way to another building and gets spotted by a trio of masks. With Mayuko's help, they fight off the masks, but one of them commits suicide. Yuri and Mayuko decide to become allies. When they contact Yuri's brother, Rika, he orders her to kill Mayuko. Yuri, however, believes that her ally is more important than her safety and disagrees. Rika claims it was a test to gauge her determination, but he still believes that killing every mask is necessary for their survival. The flashback shows Rika and Sniper Mask quick fight. Meanwhile, Rika's allies, Takeda and Akihara, meet up when Baseball Mask lobs a cannonball at them, killing Takeda. Believing that Baseball Mask is playing on an actual field, Rika engages him in battle. Baseball Mask taunts Rika, saying he is nowhere close to being a god in this realm. Before any more information can be extracted, Akihara shoots Baseball Mask dead. As Rika believes the realm is offensive, he vows to destroy this new world whatever it takes. Meanwhile, Sniper Mask tries to despair a girl to commit suicide. But the god's command reveals to him that the girl is an individual fostered to become a god, and the realm is a facility to create a god. The command says that the girl, Hyuan Shinzaki, is a god candidate and is being fostered to become god. The angels, or masks, have the task to supplement a candidate. Sniper Mask accompanies Kiwon despite not knowing the command's order. As they continue their journey, they discover more secrets of the new world, and alliances are formed. Yuri and Mayuko get a bag from an emotionless mask containing weapons and food. Later on, Yuri falls asleep, her phone rings and Mayuko picks up the call, and the call was from her brother Rika. Rika awkwardly talks about Yuri's well-being and their alliance. As Mayuko and Rika talk about Yuri, Rika asks Mayuko if she is okay. Mayuko tells him that she's fine while she snores like a bear. On an adjacent roof, Chef Mask schemes to kidnap Mayuko. Yuri and Mayuko travel to another building, while Mayuko thinks about how Yuri accepts her despite having a troubled past. Chef Mask then kidnaps Mayuko, but Yuri catches wind of it. Chef Mask reveals that his mask has a defect, meaning that he gets orders, but keeps his deranged will. Yuri shows up to hurt him but Mayuko brutally kills him. They follow signs to a room where they are accosted by a group of humans. Suddenly, Rider Mask shows up and kills the group. When he targets Yuri, Mayuko puts on the defective mask to become an angel herself. 
As the fight with Rider Mask comes to an end, Mayuko's mask shatters. Yuri and Mayuko defeat Rider Mask and leave the building. However, they are soon approached by Sashi Otane, a man who seeks to kill God candidates. Tane reveals that his allies were killed by an angel belonging to another candidate named Kazuma Ehara. Sniper Mask and Kiwon overhear their conversation. When they confront Ehara, he arrogantly declares that nothing can stop him from becoming the perfect god and orders his angel, Ein, to attack them. However, as Ein tries, Ehara orders his other angel, Sue, to attack. Yuri quickly dispatches Ehara and recalls from her previous call with Rika that a candidate can control more than one angel. Desperate to interfere, Kiwon activates her weapon, causing a railgun to blow up a nearby building, which leads Ehara to believe Yuri did it. Kiwon vows to be the perfect god and bring an end to the world. Meanwhile, Rikuya Yashida, another candidate, hopes to ally with Rika. Rika wonders how one becomes a candidate, and it is then revealed that a person becomes one if they wear a mouthless mask. One thing is clear that this world is full of mysteries, and the mask's true purpose is yet a mystery. Mayuko starts to feel the side effects of wearing the mask and starts losing control of herself. Sometimes she isn't able to control herself rather the command controls her. Yuri offers to sit out and take rest, but Mayuko refuses to abandon her mission. They make their way to Yashida and stumble upon the Bat Mask in a library. Mayuko impulsively attacks him, only to be knocked out. Sniper Mask appears and kills Bat Mask, revealing that he was hoping to team up with them. Sniper Mask then recalls his encounter with Rika, who is currently leading in the race to become God. He also remembers how he became an angel, which was forcibly put on him by Yeoi Kusake, a police uniform clad angel. Meanwhile, Mayuko feels like her masked alter ego is taking over. She collapses after Yuri stops her from committing suicide. Dealer Mask approaches Yuri and explains Mayuko's state as hibernation, in which she has less than two hours to live, but can be saved by a candidate. She tells Yuri that there is a nearby mouthless mask that will allow her to become a candidate and save Mayuko's life. Yuri vows to save Mayuko and sets out to find the mask. Luckily Yuri and Kyuan find Mayuko and save her just in time. Yuri encounters a skier angel and is forced to fight it off. In the midst of the battle, Yuri realizes that the skier angel is actually a human who has taken on the role of an angel. Yuri obtains the mouthless mask and becomes a candidate for becoming a god. As she puts it on, the god command orders her to kill her opponent, which Yuri does. Meanwhile, Rika and his crew finally meet Yashida and believe they can trust him. They are then suddenly ambushed by Kusakabe and her team. Rika tries to fight off a halberdier angel when Yashida's angels come for support. Kusakabe orders her team to keep attacking when Rika collapses. While Yashida's angels and Rika's team fight them off, Swimmer Mask kidnaps Rika. Kusakabe recalls that she is supposed to kidnap any competent human and take them to a mysterious person. Later, Yuri receives a call informing her of Rika's kidnapping. As the call ends, Mayuko appears, demanding to know everything from Kyuan. Meanwhile, Yuri puts the mask back on, and the god command tells her that her memories and consciousness will not be affected and that she can control angels based on wavelength compatibility. Yuri plans to keep moving forward to meet Yashida. Meanwhile, Yuri arrives at the location where Yashida is supposed to be but finds no one there. An enraged Yuri vows to save Rika. Meanwhile, Mayuko encounters a pair of angels while on her way to find Kyuan. The angels seem hostile, but just as Mayuko thinks she is about to be killed, Sniper Mask appears and saves her. Together, they are able to take down the angels. At the same time, knowing that Mayuko is in trouble, Yuri comes to the rescue. She encounters more angels, but her fighting skills were more than enough to defeat them. Sniper Mask joins her in the fight, and together they defeat these angels. Huon arrives and confirms that they are both god candidates, just like Rika. Meanwhile, Rika has been taken to see the mysterious person whose name is Mamoru Ikawa. Ikawa talks about his plan for the new world and he wants Rika to be his ally. He tells him about his plan for the new world and how he believes that only a candidate can become the perfect god by going to the railgun tower. Rika is skeptical of his plan, but he continues to insist that he can be his ally. As Kyuan wonders about the connection between Sniper Mask and Rika, a helicopter flies over the city and lands on the rooftop where Ikawa and Rika are. Ikawa confirms that the Guardian Angels are trying to prevent candidates from becoming god and that they will stop at nothing to prevent it from happening. The situation becomes even more dire as they realize that time is running out for Rika. Rika learns about Mamoru Ikawa's vision for a new world order. His loyal team is poised to help him achieve his goal, but the Guardian Angels are trying to prevent candidates from becoming god. Ikawa orders Kusuke and his superior angels to eliminate Yuri and any other candidates. White Feather, one of Aikawa's angels, duels with Sniper Mask, with White Feather gaining the upper hand. Huon decides to fire her railgun to help, but Ein shows up on the scene and helps Sniper Mask escape. Kazuma Ehara surmises that Yuri is nearby and hopes to meet her. 
Ayahara, along with a kid named Yuzuki and Sashi Otane, goes to meet Yuri. White Feather reports to Aikawa, who deduces that the railgun user is possibly on the east end where Yuri is located. Aikawa proclaims himself to be the perfect god and orders his squad to guard the helipad and kill any trespassers. Sniper Mask shows up and tells Kyuan that their enemy, Aikawa, has taken Rika hostage. As Aikawa receives information on the whereabouts of the railgun user, Yuri and her team reach the rendezvous point, where they are joined by Ayahara and his allies. Kyuan confirms that she is the railgun user and Aikawa is now also aware of it. Kusakabe tries to extract information about the sniper mask from Rika. However, Rika ends up injuring himself during the process. Before he passes out, Rika proclaims that Sniper Mask has great combat skills and is strong enough to defeat Aikawa. Kusakabe learns of Rika's relationship with Sniper Mask and realizes that he could be dangerous for them as he already did a duel with the White Feather. Meanwhile, Sniper Mask and Kyuan discuss Rika when the hibernation program is activated. Sniper Mask asks Kyuan to save Rika when the time comes, showing his concern for his friend. Ayahara informs Yuri that Aikawa is targeting other candidates. And Kyuan reveals to Yuri and Mayuko that Sniper Mask has entered hibernation. Yuri talks to Sniper Mask, trying to understand his connection with Rika. While they talk, Student Mask, one of Ikawa's angels, watches from another building. After their conversation, Sniper Mask enters hibernation. Later, Kyuan, Mayuko, and Mayuko's angel alter ego dive into Sniper Mask's brain and find themselves in his dream. They encounter a young Sniper Mask talking to a young Rika, who calls him Yuka Makoto. The girls leave the dream after Kuan ends his hibernation. Yashida receives a report from his angel about Rika's whereabouts and contacts Yuri to inform her. However, as they talk, a group of masks attacks them. Yuri takes them out with ease while student mask watches from afar. Yuri and her team are on high alert as they receive the shocking news that Ikawa has sent Kusuke, swimmer mask, and the archangel to assassinate them. Meanwhile, Kusuke recalls the time when she and Ikawa met archangel. She learns that Archangel sees everything as evil and believes that killing people is justice. It is this belief that made Aikawa compatible to control him. One of Yashida's angels reports on Kusuke, Archangel, and Rika's whereabouts. Yuri receives Yashida's report and also the news that Kusuke's squad is closing in. While they prepare to fight, Yuzuki reveals that she is Sniper Mask's mother, causing a momentary distraction in the battle. As the battle begins, Student Mask attacks Yuri in the name of Aikawa. Just then, Mayuko arrives and saves her from the student mask. After student mask talks about Akawa's beliefs, Yuri decides that she will kill him as a step to end the world. Swimmer mask and Archangel fight Yuri, Ayn, and Mayuko, but Akawa activates Archangel's full power. Archangel then runs after Akawa, with Mayuko and Ayn following, while Yuri fights off Swimmer Mask. Makoto tries to shoot at Archangel, but he stops the bullet with his fingers. Ayn sneaks up on Archangel, but cannot take him down. Just then, Ehara uses his power, which allows Ayn and Mayuko to injure Archangel. Archangel uses Makoto's spare bullet and shoots it, hitting Ehara in the neck. As Ayn tends to Ehara, Mayuko calls upon her angel alter ego to complete defragmentation. To buy time, Tanabe shows up and confuses Archangel. With Mayuko's defragmentation complete, her combat skill matches Archangel. Yuri ends up killing Swimmer Mask, while Kyuan calms down to use their final attack. Mayuko signals Kyuan to use the rail gun. Kusukabe attempts to report to Ikawa, but escapes. Archangel comes out of the rubble. Before Yuri can kill Archangel, the God Command announces that their wavelengths matched, therefore she can control him. Unsure what to do, Tanabe convinces Yuri to control him. Despite Yuri's team winning the battle, Ayahara dies. Elsewhere, Ikawa learns of Yuri's existence, and informs Rika of using him as leverage to make Yuri surrender. When Rika rejects Ikawa's proposal, Ikawa activates the Angel Command onto him, leaving his fate unknown. If you liked what you saw subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified about our quality uploads.